नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स हेलो एवरीवन आई होप ऑल यू ऑल डूइंग वेल एंड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ फ्रेंड्स द ऑब्जर्वेशन इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम यूज फॉर जीएक्सपी पर्पस इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर वेरी कॉमन इन दिस डे ऑल्दो वी स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ मनी मैन पावर एंड अदर रिसोर्सेस फॉर कंप्लाइंस द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सिस्टम एज पर रेगुलेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट is still we observe something is missing especially at the time of inspection or audit hence friends today we are going to discuss about the audit or inspection preparation for computer system validation my name is hema sharma and you all are welcome in family of learn share and care i hope your family is healthy happy and work with the compliance let us discuss on readiness for audit or inspection for computer system validation here we discuss some important point that should be available during the inspection i really request to all of you please watch this short video till the end friends the observation on electronic system or computerized system can be easily identified in fda warning letters the electronic system designed to mitigate the data integrity related issues hence there is directly indication with the warning letters that data integrity principle are not properly established we all establish the electronic system to mitigate all the issues related to data integrity and gmp requirement gmp issues right so when we establish the electronic system we invest lot of money manpower and all and we all try our best that the issues can be mitigate or zero observation shall be observed during the inspection but is still something missing so what is the documentation documentation is the basic key of successful csp audit and documentation should be presentable on the basis of risk assessment and assurance of the compliance so what are the small small things that should be available all the time in my side in my organization so that all time readiness purpose can be solved my purpose that i will always ready for any inspection related to csv so i conclude some points here that should be available so that any audit any inspection can easily crack first of all list of computerized system available at the site the list should be based upon one question what is the gxp risk characterize your system as per your gxp Final, finally approved list of computerized system shall be prepared b inventory management the inventory of all cgxp computerized system should be maintained all hardware components cables lean switches should be identified and labeled the computer system don't use for routine gxp work but can be used for retrieval of historical data should be identified and maintained means you should have separate inventory management for your all the gxp system and if you have another computer system and all for the using like retrieval historical data or any other thing it should also be maintained and anyone can be easily identify the difference between both the part validation and documentation this part 
have your URS, your function specification, technical specification, vendor qualification and related documentation, pre risk assessment, configuration specification, installation qualification, testing plan and report, operation qualification, user acceptance testing, traceability matrix, validation summary C. So all your required validation data, your all the required document should be clearly identified check it properly make your list should be available at any time you have this list you have summary sheet you have validation summary sheet vmp so these documents should be always reviewed by smes and available at any time during the inspection if you got anything that should be required to doing a, another work for the improvement, then there should be the process of change and deviation management system. The processor, auditor ask you, inspector ask you, any QMS system you have for the resolving the problem related to CSV, then here should we have change and deviation management system, E part, backup and restoration. There should be SOP for backup and data, backup the data and clear executed format. SOP for data restoration and the processor and disaster recovery management, the related and related format that you executed should be available after properly reviewed, approved. F part, access control. There should be a list of access control always with you, which type of rights you have given to which type of the person. You have the privilege management system. Your SOP clearly indicate what type of privilege system you establish for access control. A approved list, an approved list should be available all the time. And it is clearly as per your electronic system. So match it properly. Identify. There should be no error option for the list of access control g part management of remote access if your vendor if your service provider ask you give me your electronic system your computer system for the maintenance from the remote access there should be the sop this is not possible that always your service provider or your vendor come on your side and give you the service. Sometime for the small, small task or the troubleshooting, you have to be give your electronic system remote to your vendor. So there should be the SOP, there should be the procedure, approved procedure by which you perform this type of the troubleshooting. Periodic review SOP. There should be the periodic review SOP for which computerized system, what is the frequency to review for the compliance, for the challenge test, for the user acceptance test. So make a SOP for define how many type of GXP system you have and in a yearly basis or the three month basis or which basis you are identified for checking your GXP system for the compliance. J part, training. You all know that training is the one of the key that gave us to skill development, gave us the option to review again ourselves about our knowledge, learning and skill process. So may your schedule should be available. This is no like this. The first time for every electronic system, there should be the proper training management system. Previously, 
all the SMEs, all the users, all the stakeholders have the training. Now the periodic training should be planned accordingly. So all time ready for audit, for compliance, for any regulation. So what we have to do, we can plan the Gantt chart. Find the task, list out your task and make a chart which task you will perform in which time during. So you can list out your task, you can prepare your Gantt chart, Gantt chart and then you can perform your task accordingly. You can make weekly plan accordingly time wise for review, for checking so that any time audit you can face with the confidence if you got anything during your self-inspection program, you have built your confidence to remove the errors, to manage with the incident or deviation process. So friends, this is the very short video. How can you face your audit any time of the inspection? Still, if you have any query, you can write on my mail ID. This is my mail ID. We will resolve the problems. We will face the problems. We will solve the queries. So thank you so much. This is the very short video about the audit readiness. I hope you enjoy it. And we, I will come again with a different topic. Till you will be happy, take care of yourself, healthy, happiness and remain with the compliance. Thank you so much friends.